is um, uh, a South African law graduate, who I said is Malabala Fabang Confidence, has said he's interested in sports law and his question is, where must he start? So he's just graduated law. The first thing, as I said this in the How to Come a Sports Lawyer, original article I wrote 2013 and 2.0, and I'll put a link to it below. Um, you have to become a lawyer. Every sports lawyer will tell you, number one thing, have to become a lawyer. So you have to work out in your jurisdiction, in this case, South Africa, how do I qualify as a lawyer? Are there any post degree, uh, post qualifications that I must need to, to pass in order to become a sports lawyer? Once you have that, then you need to be a good lawyer in whatever field you choose, whether you want to do more litigious, dispute resolution type work, regulatory work, or whether you want to go in more of a commercial path. Now, it may be that, you know, even before that, the question I'd ask you is, what is it you want to do in life? Like, where, where do you want to go? If you don't know what your end goal is, how are you going to make sure you, you, you get there? What are you striving for? So, you know, even, so if you say if you're an athlete, you know, you, you want to compete at the Olympic Games, your goal is to compete at the Olympic Games, you'll tolerate a lot of uncomfortable training, a lot of other things to be able to, to get there. Whereas if you just participate in sport for participating in sports sake, you're probably not going to get to the Olympic Games, right? Because that's not what you're striving for. So the same when you're trying to develop a, um, a career as a sports lawyer. What is it, if you could, all jobs are paid the same, what job would you choose to do? Because there are jobs that don't require you to be a practicing lawyer that you can work in, let's say, in the broader sports law world. And what I mean by that is that it's legal regulatory roles um, such as anti-doping, match fixing, uh, not match fixing, <laughs> but anti-match fixing, anti-corruption, uh, betting integrity, um, commercial sales, um, governance roles that don't actually require, don't have a prerequisite to be a lawyer. It can aid you absolutely and it may um, help progress your career in the long term to be a qualified lawyer but you shouldn't discount that because if that's what's going to make you happy then by all means go for it do it uh, but to be clear on it because otherwise trying to qualify as a lawyer can be in a very expensive very tiring road and it's worth it if that's what you enjoy but if you don't enjoy it look at some other options use your legal expertise that you've got from education and go forward so that's the one number one thing then secondly in a market like South Africa or in any market for that for that matter um, particularly in the, they say markets where sports law is not that well developed find the key players find out who's doing things try to connect with them say you know you'd like to you know, ask them for some advice or if you can do some shadowing or some work experience or help them with some projects um, you know try and turn up to events whether they're run by uh, government by charities sports charities anyone who's doing anything sports clubs whether they're local national leagues national governing bodies get in contact with these people and just say, hey, this is what I'm looking to do because there's a disconnect between what you're aspiring to do and how much experience you've got at the moment, right? But if you can provide some help with you know, using the expertise that you've got as a, you know, for, well, I'd hope you would acquire for your law degree and hopefully having the enthusiasm to work in the sector, maybe you can be helpful in some way. You don't have to do it full time. You could offer your services, um, you know, in, in, your, in any free time that you've got. Try to do that, um, build relationships, that's really, really important. So what you need to do is, you know, strive forward to qualify as a lawyer, then try and develop sector expertise. And particularly in a market like South Africa, you're going to want to try and develop the sector and help be a positive contributor to the development of better governance, better regulation, better development of sport across the country in order to, you know, in some ways, one, to create a better sporting environment, but also to make sure there's work for you once you become a qualified lawyer and want to practice sports law. So that would be my sort of first piece of advice it's going to be a long road nothing happens very quickly but try to connect with people try to be helpful be honest about it um, about what you're aspiring to do and remember though one key important point when you're writing to people a bit like you've done with me make sure that you don't tell people i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do that make sure you're you're um trying to offer some value in some way you know look would you require any help could i assist you with this you know i'd love to learn from your experience you know hopefully i can mimic what you've done or you know and be honest it's important to do that but try to be sincere in those emails because if you get a lot of requests like i do and, and many other of my colleagues in the sector do to say i want to contact you because i want to develop my career because i want to produce this you just think you know they go off into a separate funnel and then people are let to say a little bit more humble polite um and um you know, say self-aware will get more help and assistance so i wish you lots of luck with your future career development i hope that's helpful um if it's not let me know and i'll try and do an update um there is some very specific advice i would say for the, for the developing markets but maybe that's 
um, something for the future. Um, but my, 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 my view on it would be try and get involved as much as possible. Try to you know pr- improve yourself as a professional, professional working and in professional services. Do that, look at your personal development, develop your sports law experience, knowledge base, obviously read publications like Laura and Sport and anything else you can get a hold of uh, to improve your knowledge base. Keep an eye on current developments just because you'll find them very interesting. You know, and over time, just build those relationships. Uh, and I'm sure once you've qualified as a lawyer, opportunities will arise. And if they don't arise, then you'll have to look at how to create them for yourself, which, you know, again, that might be a, something for a later date. Other than that, Friday I'm putting this out so have a great weekend hope that's useful please leave any comments underneath any other questions I'll try to do video responses let me know if you like it don't like it Um, hopefully it's useful anyway have a great weekend